Hello everyone. Welcome to the H and E training session. Let's learn. First, see the principle. The principle behind H and E stain is a chemical attraction between the tissue and the dye. The basic dye binds to acidic structures like DNA, RNA, ribosomes, cytoplasmic regions containing RNA. And acidic dye bind to basic structures like RBC, cytoplasm, muscle, and collagen. These two combines the H and E staining, that is hematoxylin and eosin staining. Let's learn the procedure. It is usually done on the histopathological slide where the tissue is cut under the microtome. After the cutting of the tissue, that tissue is spreaded over the slide and the slide is ready for the staining. So first step is we introduce a slide into the xylene and it is done for two charges. The next is 100% ethanol for two minutes for two charges. Next is 95% ethanol for two minutes. Next is water wash for 2 minutes. Then stain in the hematoxylin for 3 minutes. Wash it for 1 minute and add into the mild acid for differentiator for 1 minute. Again water wash it for 1 minute. And put the slide in the alkaline solution for bluing. So what is bluing? The bluing is a process in HNE staining that converts the soluble red component of hematoxylin into a insoluble blue. So it is called bluing. The alkaline pH is required that can be achieved by using ammonia water, dilute lithium carbonate or Scott's tap water. So after bluing, wash it with the water for 1 minute and 95% ethanol for 1 minute and do eosin staining for 45 seconds. After that again put it into the 95% ethanol for 1 minute then 100% ethanol for 1 minute for 2 charges and xylene for 2 minutes for 2 charges and our slide is ready to mount. Let's see the result. So. In the tissue, the nuclei looks blue, cytoplasm looks pink, erythrocyte is bright red and all other eosinophilic structures are red, pink or orange. Let's learn some more facts about hematoxylin and eosin. Hematoxylin shows ribosomes, chromatin within nucleus and other structures as a deep blue or purple color. There are many varieties of hematoxylin stain, best known being Harris, Karazis, Mayer and Wigerts. Hematoxylins are the classified as progressive and regressive. Progressive hematoxylin usually have the lower concentration and stain the chromatin. There is no need to remove the excess stain. And the regressive stains dye nuclear and cytoplasmic structures and excess staining must be removed in the washing process. Eosin shows the cytoplasm, collagen, connective tissue and other structures that surround and support the cell as an orange, pink, red color. Hematoxylin is used to illustrate the nuclear details in the cell. The depth of the coloration is not only related to the amount of the DNA nuclei but also to the length of the time the samples blend in the hematoxylin. Hematoxylin is a reasonably simple dye to make. The dye itself is extracted from the tree, Hematoxylum capacinium. The oxidation of hematoxylin produces hematin, which is the actual dye used in H and E staining. Hematoxylin are typically classified by the mordant used before the staining. Mordant strengthens the positive ionic charge of the hematin. This aids the bonding of hematin to the ionic tissue component and which is a most commonly chromatin. The type of the modern also influences the final color of the stain components. The most common modern used in the routine histology is aluminum ammonium sulfate. It is also called the alum. 
Meyers and Harris hematoxylin are an alum hematoxylin. The hematoxylins that use iron salt as a modern are typically used in the spatial strains. This is because they can demonstrate more tissue structure than alum hematoxylin such as myelin and elastin fibers. One of the best known is a Vigors hematoxylin which is used in a Perhop 1 Jason stain. Let's learn in detail about eosin. Eosin is a most commonly used counter strain that distinguish between the cytoplasm and the nuclei of the cell. It is typically pink with different shade of the pink for different type of the connective tissue fibers. Eosin Y is most commonly used for the eosin and may be used in the both water and alcohol. The addition of the small amount of acetic acid will also sharpen the staining of eosin. Other eosin mixtures are sometimes used such as EA50 and EA65. These stains are primarily used for cytology and in addition to eosin Y that include light green, yellowish and Bismarck brown. So this is the staining of eosin. First is light pink, second is dark pink and the third is orange or reddish. So light pink is color given to the collagen. The dark pink color is given to a smooth muscles and the red or the orange color is captured by the RBCs. So these are three different intensities of eosin that are seen in the histopathological specimens. These are the references for this video. Hope you like it. Thank you. See you in the next video.